would think you just double click on this or right click or create a report or something, but nope, there's nothing uh, you can do inside of the Office 365 web portal to show you who's in it, which I personally find nutty. And I would have said years ago that this is just a, you know, version one oversight, they'll get to it. Apparently they're just not going to get to it at all. And uh, the answer is to use PowerShell. So let's go and show you how to get this solved with PowerShell. Not very hard, but definitely different. So the first thing you need to do is bring up a PowerShell window. So just right click on your start button, go to Windows PowerShell, make sure you use the admin one or you will be going nowhere. There we go. So what we need to do is just run through a set of commands. Uh, it looks challenging, but trust me, it's not. Just copy and paste the commands. I will have them on our site so you can literally copy and paste them out here. So first thing you need to do is set the uh, remote uh, policy, remote execution policy. Say A for all on this. It takes a second and there you go. Next thing you need to do is get it to ask you for who you are. So we just set a variable, user credentials, get credentials, we do that. I'm going to gray this out so you can't see what I'm typing. But I've typed in my admin credentials for Office 365, which is just an email address and a password. There it is. Now I need to create a session using that user credential you can see here in the variable. Again, this is just copy paste stuff, not near as challenging as you'd think. There it is, completed. Now we need to import that session into this PowerShell. So now I'm just gonna paste in, get the, uh, the dynamic distribution group. I'm just gonna set a variable here of, uh, and I'm gonna call the variable my query. It really doesn't make any difference what you call it, um, other than you need to make sure you use that variable in the future. So I'm going to set that to all Canada in quotes and let's see who's in it. Well, it didn't return anyone. Let's see what's wrong. So I'm going to paste in a command, which is give me the list of dynamic distribution groups. And I can see that all Canada is correct there. Okay, so I've run this a number of times and uh, found uh, that it is not returning the results I'm expecting, as in no results. So what I've done is I've just closed the session and I'm going to open up a brand new one and do the entire thing again. Bingo, and there we go. So that is who is in the distribution list. That's the email addresses. So now I could... Uh, just grab this information and I can right click and copy it, paste it into Excel, manipulate it as I want. If it's a larger list, well, that's not very convenient. So I could go up and run the same command again, but I can, this time I can pipe it, uh, which is just the circle bar there to a CSV so I can work on it. Export CSV, C colon backslash, uh, let's do uh, DG uh, addresses. How's that? There we go. Doesn't make a difference what we call it. There we go. Oop, I see I have a quote in there rather than a semicolon. Best if you spell it right. And there it is. Now I can go to my C drive. And there it is. I can expand. I can 